My boyfriend is physically abusive. He's kicked me, socked me in my face. He's pulled my hair, threw me on the floor, kicked me while I was on the floor. And so I put on my jacket and I wanted to leave, but he forced me to stay there. And he told me to take off my jacket, but I didn't want to. So he went into the kitchen, got a knife and came to me and said, if you, don't, if you don't take it off, I'll cut it off of you. I feel stuck because... Because I feel like I have nowhere to go. He knows I don't want to be with him, but he knows I love him, so he forces me to stay with him. I want to continue my life. I want to be happy with my son. I can't do that living with him. So please help me out. I don't want to be abused anymore. Is what she says true? I'm not going to sit here and say no. That's it's right, just... you're not going to sit there. Get your ass out of my chair. <laughs> you come here to change your ways. Exactly. So you don't become, so what the hell are you running off stage for? Because I, I didn't want to come here for that reason. I'm here to change. Well, you know I what? Would, you know I why she had here. to make that tape? Because she's afraid of you. Fine, I'm exposed. I'm here for a reason, Steve. Okay, okay? if you don't okay. believe me, that's fine. No, I, I, I believe you. I thought, but you know what? I don't like a guy that runs away from what he needs to take care of. Well, you told me to get off your stage. I didn't say get off my stage. What did you say then? I said get out of the chair. You said get off my stage. I know what I say. And I don't let guys who hit women sit on my stage. So you can go back out of my stage. You're just not going to sit in a chair. Get your ass back out there. So if you push, you know what? I've never, I've never, I've never face, punched her in the face. Okay? Somebody sounds like they want to confront you. Huh? You're gonna sit here and you're gonna lie. No, but you, you exaggerate. No, you exaggerate. I, I thought that he would learn his lesson. I thought that people would scare the out of him in jail. I thought that him being in jail would change him, would make him open his eyes, and my bad, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's just I loved him too much to give up on him. I wanted to keep giving him chances. I know I shouldn't have. What did you tell but... me we were coming here for? What, why? Hold on, why... hold on, hold on. Do you still want to be with him? No, I don't. I love him to death, but I don't. You know, you come out here and you're like, oh, what am I here for? What am I this? What am I that? But you know what? Like, seriously, if, if you're a man and some woman's asking you for help and this is the guy that's causing the problems and you're putting your hands on her and you're dragging her out of restaurants and picking her up and punching her and blacking her eyes and doing all this, what the hell? Why would I want to help you? <laughs> so all that BS before, that's nonsense, right? You lied. No, I didn't lie. About the her leaving and me being the more respond. No, I didn't lie. I'm not asking you about that. I said you punched her, you kicked her, you spit on her, right? Yes. You punched, and yes. kicked, and spit on yes. her. Yes. So before, yes. when you told me you didn't do those things, you lied to me, right? Yes. You didn't. Act yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I just want to know how bad you want that anger management. That's all. How bad do you want it? Bad, but not, not from you now. Then you don't want it bad enough. Why don't you want it from me? What is one day going to do here? What is, how, is this count, how is this helping me? I mean, it is helping me realize things. You know, I, I know what's wrong and well, right. Well, there but... you go. There's your answer. Okay, but... So will, will I help you? Yeah, I'll help you because you got a little boy. And it's going to do us no good if you stay the way you are. It's not going to help that little boy at all. So, yeah, I will. <laughs> you got a friend here? Yes, I do. Let's bring her up. Like I told you before, Eddie, your guys' arguments are your guys' arguments. You're going to have your arguments. And Just nobody, like me and my boyfriend are going to no have our arguments. But stuff. when it comes to you putting your hands on her, that's when it's my business, and I will get into it. <laughs> You 
You know, see now, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like I really want to help you, but then I see you act this way, and I think, you know what? You're just a dirtbag. That's what you are.